Baralinga test range in the stark, wide open spaces of South Australia. Operation Buffalo involved setting up a village for servicemen taking part. And the team of scientists was headed by Sir William Penny, seen arriving to supervise and observe the atomic explosions. Tanks were one of several target response items, 25 pounders and ACAC guns were another. How would they stand up to the explosions at various distances? All had to be tested first, of course. He's got a hangover already, but it's nothing to the headache that's coming to him and his pals. Special camera towers were built to make the film record we'll see in a moment. Quite an assignment, I should think. And for everyone present, the few seconds before each device is exploded must arouse a feeling of extreme nervous tension. Patterns of tracer rockets crisscross the impressive and symmetrical atomic cloud formation, playing their part in the scientific record of the burst. And scientists, in special protective clothing, advance to the target area. If the scene of havoc is less impressive than might have been expected, remember that these test items were placed many miles away from the explosion. The Valiant, as we know, is one of Britain's A-bombers. And here's one winging away over Maralinga to drop another device during last year's series. Altogether, four atomic blasts were carried out. The development of Britain's nuclear weapons progresses apace. 